Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day today. This is Figure Warriors 2. And I hope you guys are on your plan, your purpose. We are uh, having another great day. I believe today is May 26, 2022. And uh, hope all is well. I didn't get a chance to do one yesterday because I was working in the yard and I had a chance to uh, take a day off, which I hadn't done too much during the year. So uh, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. So I didn't get a chance to really kind of uh, do one, but I'm back here today and we're talking again about uh, our journey and, and we keep going. Uh, I was noticing the days, I was just kind of trying to figure this out a little bit, which I wasn't really keeping track of too much uh, because it is a lifestyle type of change. But I am approaching, let's see, 730 days, which would make this, I believe, two years. And so we'll have uh, about 10 days from now. So we'll do a little bit of uh, a video on two years of retention. And uh, we're about 10 years, we still got left. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's gonna take a little time, but we're getting there. So uh, thank you for all the subscriptions, comments, likes, all those type of things. And uh, donations as always greatly appreciated. And I hope you guys continue to uh, communicate with me. And our subscriptions, I think, so I think it hit 400, so thank you, thank you so much. We'll see if we can get to 500 and then continue onward. And, uh, you know, like I said, the main thing that we're doing here is kind of communicating to you guys, and you guys communicate to me about how, uh, how you move through this journey and how important this journey is when it comes to, um, you know, your well-being and becoming... You know more effective and a better person and the best person you can become you know and I think that's really really important so you know I think as I'm uh, June 25th I think it is you know I think it is I know it is June 25th as is, is um, I'll be 61 so I have not felt better uh, in many 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 years and I think these last two years I've actually seen uh, uh, unbelievable change in a lot of things I was doing, which I felt were wrong, um, but I never really could stop that. And so I'm still dealing with the eating issue. And I do fast, but I still have a, a, a propensity to um, eat too much at one meal. And I think that's what I got to kind of stop. So having one thing at a time, uh, and having you know smaller meals and more uh, smaller portions is probably the key. Because once I once I get to the point where I'm eating a lot, and where I'm fasting a lot, and then I get hungry and I start eating one thing, and I feel like eating more. So that's what that's the part I got to stop now. But we're getting there. We're gonna get there. And just like it took a long time to get there for the, um, the retention stuff, you know, we're approaching two years, which is wonderful. And so uh, I think we'll do the same thing for the the eating aspect. Unfortunately, I don't have any other type of of problem. You know addiction type of issue at this point when it comes to you know drugs and things like that so it's good to good, good to kind of knock these out of the way one at a time so today what I want to talk about is the idea of energy and the fact that you're transferring energy and we do this excuse me on a daily basis when we talk about this we're talking about really energy is something that we transfer from person to person and from things. You know, because everything is made of energy. Now, we don't look at this this, this way for the most part. We tend to look at things more like the physical part of things that I touch something and then, you know, you feel it and I feel it. It's more of a feeling thing. And there is a, a there is an emotional type of draw with that. I mean, you know, a lot of it is your brain is reacting. If I touch someone, then my brain is saying, okay, I've touched you. Now, will you react to that? I don't know. If you react to that, then that could be a positive, you know, and I could get a smile on my face saying, oh, that's nice. Or you could be upset with me for touching. And then that would be a negative response. But that's also a response that goes up to your brain when doing it. Someone touches me, the same thing happens. 
is either I like that touch, I have no feeling towards the touch, or I don't like the touch. But those are all things in your brain that go back and indicate, okay, this is really what I'm seeing. You know, this is what I'm sensing. And now you sense the touch, and now you respond. But in a big sense, we are still all looking at energy. And the energy that's transferred also can get part of touch and part of your reaction as well. And so as you look at types of energy, you're looking at potential energy and kinetic energy. And as energy kind of uh, goes through you, you keep that potential energy until you need that. And so kinetic energy is kind of that kind of energy that you use. And so as you as you retain, as you are continuing, you are keeping your energy. You're not losing your energy on a constant basis. And so you're not depleted. You're not losing strength and energy and all those type of benefits that you have. Now, except for procreation, you're basically using that energy to kind of neutral and if you're able to transmute that and able to move that up through your system some more then now all of a sudden you have all your benefits uh, and if you don't well then you're you're, you're going to get frustrated because you're going to continue thinking about all these things and now it's going to be a, more of a blockage and that's happened to me before as well but the thing is, is as you look at this it's really more of a case of keeping that energy getting it through your system so that you're able to, you know, kind of, you know, be stronger, fight off diseases better, not be as anxious, not be as nervous, and be able to handle the things around you in a much better way. And um, I think that's the important part of it, obviously. Now, you can then go from potential to kinetic energy. And when you look at your energy, then you're, you're moving from saving it to actually using it. And like I said, for procreation purposes, you know, that type of energy is, is a good energy to have because you're creating a child. Now, uh, in women's cases and men's cases, when you able to use energy, you can also acquire energy from people. And so what ends up happening is that you can, you can you get energy. But to get energy, what you have to do is kind of have someone else deplete energy that way. The better way for you to do is obviously store energy. But when you are releasing, right, your energy, you're losing your energy. And just so you know that, that's I guess that's the key to it. You're losing that potential energy. And so now it's almost like a gas tank when you're... Uh, using it to you know drive around your gas tank is being depleted and so eventually you have to kind of fill yourself up now when you're younger that happens a lot easier and you can kind of fill yourself up and you fill the gas tank up in a way and you create more uh, semen you can create you create a lot more of that type of stuff but when you're older it takes a little bit longer to do that just like in you know any type of thing that you have and it's going to take a little bit older and to, the longer to do it and so as a result of that you're not going to be able to be as strong as you should be and it's only because you're keeping your energy that now you're still very strong and so that's why as, as years go on you may not notice when you're younger but you will notice it as you get older and so this is why it's important to continue to to save, you know, your energy and to be able to kind of um, use it in a way that's constructive and that's completing goals and achieving things. And so as you transmute the energy, you now use energy. So you're going to use energy doing something in some ways. And so it goes from potential to connect. So you're doing your activities, you're putting it into that instead. Now, you're obviously not using all your energy. You're still building your energy. But the thing is, you do choose to use it for things you want to use it for. Now, besides the physical aspect of that, 
It's really the emotional part of it. The emotional part of it tells you that you're basically being drained or draining someone else out because of the negativity, the anger, or whatever you have. And so you have to let that go. And we've talked about that several times as well. So it's not only the physical part of energy, but it's also the emotional or the, uh, you know, kind of uh, feeling type of energy you have. And that causes you to lose energy. So that's why when you're yelling at people, you feel drained out because you've, you've lost energy. You've given that other person energy. Now, this is what you have to really watch out for as well. So there is a lot of temptation out there when it comes to this energy flow. And so when you look at things, when you look at commercials, when you look at uh, media, when you look at things, people will try to have you spend your energy whether it's on uh, physical things or emotional things. And so you have to be careful not to use your energy and throw your energy away because that's going to make you less uh, strong. It's going to make you less important when it comes to emphasizing those type of strengths and superpowers. And so you don't have the superpowers with you as much when you're basically kind of uh, holding on uh, and, and holding on to anger and all those type of things, and you're basically really, literally draining yourself. And the same thing obviously happens physically when you release energy with pictures and, and with people and things like that. So this is why it's really important to hold on to the things that are important to you and hold on to the goals and things you want to achieve. Because when you're focusing on goals and you want to achieve things, you're not really looking at releasing energy. Either way, whether it's physically or, or emotionally, you're not going to lose energy that way because those things don't hit you the right way. Now, of course, once again, the birds will always fly over your head you know, and uh, there's temptation always going to be around you, especially in the warm weather, because you know certainly uh, you know people are not dressed the same way, and you could you know you could see you know their figures a lot more, and so there's a lot more chances to be you know tempted with that sort of thing. But you're always being tempted as well when it comes physically and emotionally. Emotionally, the part of it that is always going to be there as well is the fact that you're going to, um, you know, get into arguments, into those type of things that are going to happen. And you want to avoid that. But remember that even though it's not a physical type of battle sometimes, it is a battle emotionally. And it's a battle for your energy. Don't spend energy wasting your time. So if people want to get into an argument with you, don't waste your time on that. Realize that this is exerting your energy you're using energy all day long but the question is when you hold a lot of your energy in and it's potential it's almost like filling up your bank account or filling up your um, gas tank and now you have reserves so your reserves go higher and stronger because you're retaining while on the other hand when it comes to uh, you know losing energy, you're losing a lot of energy when you you know obviously physically exert it, but also emotionally. And I think we talked about this banking type of model, which I thought was a great model from one of our reviewers about the deposits and the withdrawals. And you have to kind of look at the withdrawals and say, okay, how am I losing my energy? Why do I not feel as strong? Now, here's the other thing that happens, too, and this is the eating part of it, which make us tired as well, you know? Uh, excuse me. When we, look at, when we look at the energy, and you're eating overeating, and you have too many carbs or sugar in you, your energy is depleted. Now, why is it depleted? Well, it's not really depleted, but you're spending energy um, having to break down all those all those carbs, all those sugars, and that's going to make you tired. 
And so as a result of that, and this is inside of you now, this is not what you experience outside, but what's inside of you is that you get tired. And that's why when you lose weight, you tend to have a lot more energy because now your energy is flowing stronger. It's being blocked because you're spending so much energy trying to, um, it's almost like sticking something in your gas tank. You know, if, if it's blocked, it's hard for the gas to flow through, okay? And so as a result of that, you're really kind of talking about having to try to keep that open. And the reason you, you keep that open is mainly because you're trying to kind of keep the flow open. The same thing happens with your blood system and your body and things like that. And so you don't want to uh, have a lot of weight on you. You don't want to have a lot of uh, bad things in your system because it, it stops the flow. And the energy is part of that big flow. So, so that's kind of what I wanted to kind of talk about today. Remembering that, again, it's not a physical world that we're living in. Yes, everything looks physical. I, you know, I understand that. But what you're looking at really is spirit, and a lot of, and the spirit is your energy, is the thing inside of you that makes you go. As I've always said, when you know when people pass away, this body that you're looking at, as good or young and old as it looks, when you pass away, will turn into dust because the matter and the energy in this body goes away. There's not something that runs this body. It's almost like taking the engine out of the car. So when you end up um, going through the system of trying to you know, look at your life, realize your life is more than just the body. It becomes the energy around you and the energy inside of you that creates this whole thing. So, all right, my friends. Well, good day today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, keep on your goals and plans, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, and battle on.